Hey, it's Chavo. Welcome to Brigzar. I actually built a vintage set, finally. Uh, so, uh, when I started this channel, I did a lot of videos featuring old Lego sets, and I still do. I just haven't been doing things as often. Uh, but this is the type of thing that I like to collect, and I should make more videos like this for you, I guess. This is a set from 1989. It's set 1952. Uh, they call it Dairy Tanker on Bricklink. I'm not, I'm not sure what Brickset has it listed as, but it's this Denmark's International Imagery. <laughs> and it says MD for the, the abbreviations for it is MD. Uh, so that, I guess that's where the Denmark's and the Imagery comes from. I don't know how Danish works, but yeah, this set is one that's very rare to find complete. And sadly, I don't have it complete. Although I have all the actual bricks that go with it, and they are the correct bricks. I just don't have the correct stickers. I have aftermarket stickers on this. And I was mostly happy with them until I got to the big sticker. <laughs> um, so, yeah, to, to get this uh, basically complete with the actual correct stickers... There's only one listed right now, and it's like three hundred and something dollars. Uh, it would probably be over a thousand if you found one of these with the box. Uh, I don't know how many were made. I think it was only sold or given out in Denmark. So yeah, it's one of those rare Lego exclusives. But it's rare for the sticker, the instruction manual, and the box. Everything else is common. So if you want to piece this together, uh, save your allowance. Get about. $15 and you 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 might have enough to buy two of these because <laughs> there is nothing in this this rare I mean we got one by six white bricks one by three white bricks we got two by four um, that piece is not on there good this I just realized this was sticking up we got two by two green plates round green plates the windshield is common Everything's coming. I mean, the hardest thing you might today have to get is these gray elements. These are old gray, but they're common. They're one by one stud and a, um, it's like a connector to hold the stud. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's all common. It's a hinge piece. Uh oh, I just broke that piece off. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's a nice little typical vintage, uh, town set the town theme which started in what 1978 a lot of these four wide vehicles i collect yellow trucks this is white i'm going ahead and collect it <laughs> uh, the little minifigure is just a standard minifigure standard grand standard white baseball cap white torso you apply stickers and the sticker sheet if you go to Bricklink you can look up 1952 the set they had you can see the sticker sheet and I bought these stickers on eBay for like seven bucks uh, this is by Midux and the problem with some of these aftermarket stickers is they're using I, th I think they use like images to get them I don't know it, it wasn't exactly like the sticker sheet and there's some things that were similar uh, but the problem with the uh, custom ones I got and so and I've noticed this with other custom stickers uh, I mean it's nice to try to replace your stickers Lego's not ever going to make them again and they, they wear out and or whatever and some of the customs have been pretty good but I've had some that they were really the wrong size and I, I think it's because whatever image they use to make the stickers they don't know how to size it correctly. They need the actual correct uh, thing. So this sticker, it's a big long sticker that goes over the assembly. So this, this is why this sticker would be impossible to find because it's connected to like 10 bricks. <laughs> and there's another one on the other side. <laughs> and this is right. The MD is supposed to be on this end because this is the way the one is on the sticker sheet from Lego. But this this. This sticker, I think the other ones were about the right size. This one's a little bit bigger than it should be. It's about 10%, 15%, maybe more bigger. Uh, it's the, the little, there's a little flower on the MD part. It shouldn't wrap over the, the brick. And I actually had to cut it to get it to fit on there. So it was definitely a little bit too big. But all the other stickers, I mean, I'm, 
it's one of those that untrained eye would, might not know that these are counterfeit stickers. I, I don't know if that's, the, that's not the right word. They're, they're third party stickers. It's kind of like replacing the string <laughs> on a, uh, you know, the Lego, if you lose the Lego string, you know, you get another string that's exactly like the Lego string because it's made by the same company that made the Lego string, but it's not from the set. I, I, I don't know. So let me know what you think. Now, I did do something the stupid. I collect Lego instructions. So this is actually the authentic instruction for the uh, set. And yeah, it was a lot of money. <laughs> I paid way too much for this. <laughs> But there's none there's no more for sale on eBay or Bricklink or whatever now. So yeah, if you ever saw this set with the authentic stickers in the instruction manual for a hundred dollars, that would be a steal. I think uh the three hundred dollars that three hundred plus on Bricklink, I feel like that's a fair price. I just I actually it was the same guy that had the instruction manual. <laughs> and I was like, I almost bought the instruction manual and the set, and then I would have like two of them, but one without the actual correct stickers. Uh, but I, I, I didn't. I thought better of it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's the Dan Marley uh, tanker truck from 1989. I think Dan Marley was still playing basketball in 19. When did he start playing, Dan Marley? He was a he was like the 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 really good three point shooter specialist before really people started shooting three pointers so much. Um, Dan Marley played for the Phoenix Suns. Uh, I don't know how I got off on that tangent there, but I did, and I'm going to go. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like vintage Lego, why don't you subscribe? And thank you to uh, the channel members that help keep the channel going. And I. I really appreciate it. I'm not worthy of their support, but I thank them for the support. And I really appreciate the comments because a lot of my most regular commenters are uh, the chan channel members. They get early access to videos. So they don't, and when, with, you know, they see the video, they get a chance to see the videos before everybody else. And they get the comment on it before everybody else. And they get emojis with their comments and, and, and they don't have to watch ads in that if they get it before I publish it to the, 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 the general public. But I, I try not to do, I, it's like I want everybody to be able to enjoy the videos whether you're a member or not. So I don't, I do make a few videos for them, uh, but probably not enough. <laughs> I'll see you guys.